Captain Greg here with Learn to Fish with us. In this video, what I want to do is show you how basically I'm going to flash freeze my salmon prior to vacuum sealing it. Uh, that way the moisture just doesn't, uh, doesn't get sucked when you're vacuum sealing to the point where the heating element won't completely seal the bag. So this can work for anything, bluegills, walleye, salmon. So basically what I do is I get a piece of wax paper. Then what I'll do is put it down, put it down on, uh, on my cookie sheet. Then what I'll do is single layer, single layer the salmon. Um, so same thing, if it was bluegill or walleye, I would just lay it all out on here and single layer it. Now, what I'm going to do is actually put this in the freezer for about 30 minutes, which will freeze this up pretty good. And what we'll do is we'll come back to the second portion where we're actually vacuum sealing, and I can show you how the moisture is all frozen, allowing you to have a great seal on your vacuum seal. Okay. So we just pulled the fillets out of the freezer. Um, because we use wax paper, you can see how easy it comes up off the cookie sheet. Uh, so what we're doing is just putting it in. It's got a nice tacky finish, which is frozen really good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the vacuum sealer, close it, and what we're gonna do is press the button and you'll be able to see that no moisture is coming up where if this would have been just uh, done and put right in there, moisture would probably eliminate it from sealing. So. So now, what I also like to do is I like to write this down. So this is a two-year-old king, and this is the July of 23. So I like to always label my catch to know exactly where it was, how old it was, because this would be really good for steaks. But again, this process is great with walleyes, perch, you know, by freezing it, it eliminates the liquid. As you can see, no liquid up there. Um, and helps preserve your catch for a long time. <laughs> 